In this video, I'll show you how to configure the Cisco Integrated Management Controller, called the SIMC, and use the virtual KVM to install ICE from an ISO to an SNS server. First, ensure that the SIMC is connected to the LAN via an Ethernet cable, as shown in the installation guide. I'll have the link in the comment. As you can see from the installation guide, this is port 9 on the back of the server. The port is the same for both the 3595 and the 3515. It's the one just to the right of the USB ports. Once that is connected, power on your server and note the IP address in the bottom left of the boot screen. This is assigned by DHCP and is the address to use to, for connecting to the SIMC. There are two ways to change this address. First, we'll go through the boot menu. Wait until the Cisco logo boot screen and press F8. See the video description for the default password options. Here you can see the menu prompting you to boot and then the confirmation that the key press has been taken. Once in the SIMC configuration utility, set the NIC mode to dedicated and select the IPv4 address to set a static IP address. Set the address, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS entries. Choose your NIC redundancy, which is typically set to none. Press F10 to save. You get a message to wait 45 seconds to refresh. It does take 45 seconds to save the configuration. After that time, press F5 to refresh and you'll get a confirmation that the settings were saved. Press escape to exit the configuration utility and the server will continue to boot. The other way to configure the SIMC is browser-based. Open your browser and put the SIMC IP address into the address bar. Again, the default password options will be in the description of the video. Once logged in, open the menu and navigate to Admin, Networking. This is where the settings for the SIMC can be configured. As you can see, the same settings exist here that are in the boot-based configuration utility. One change is that you can set a host name for the SIMC. Once your settings are configured, click the Save Changes button. After about 45 seconds, you will have to point your browser to the new IP address you have just configured. Your SIMC is configured. Now let's install ICE. Launch the HTML-based KVM and then click the Viewer link in the pop-up window. You should already have the ISO for ICE downloaded to your PC. Now you can select Virtual Media from the menu and click Activate Virtual Devices. Now we can turn the server on. Go to Power, then Power on System. At the Confirmation dialog, click OK. While the system is booting, we can map the ISO as a virtual drive. Go back up to Virtual Media and select Map CD or DVD. Click Browse to select the ISO. I'm installing ICE 2.4. Once selected, click Map Drive and wait for the Boot Options screen. At the Boot Options screen, press F6. You'll get a confirmation that you did. In the Boot menu, arrow down to Cisco VKVM and press Enter. The server will boot to the ISO and you'll be presented with the ICE installation menu. Choose Option 1 and press Enter. I've sped up the installation routine for ICE in this video, otherwise it would take over an hour for the installation. and you don't need to sit through all of that when I could just speed it up. So we're going to go through this really quickly. It's going to boot, it's going to restart, and then it's going to come to the login prompt. Type setup to go through the initial setup script. Give your ICE appliance a host name. I've chosen to name mine ICE24. Enter in the IP address that you've determined for your ICE appliance. From there, you can enter in the subnet mask, and then the default gateway. Put in your default DNS domain. And then put in your DNS server IP address. If you want to add a secondary IP address for a DNS server, you can do it here. And then enter in the IP address for your NTP server. Again, you can also add a secondary. Choose your system time. I always like to enable SSH so I can use PuTTY or another remote access to get to the box. 
press enter at the username and it'll use admin as a default then enter in a password that you can remember again this process takes some time so I've sped it up in this video so that you don't have to sit here and wait once you get the login prompt go ahead and log in with the user you just created in the previous step once you're logged in run the command show application status ice this will show you a list of all the processes that ice needs in order to run at full functionality as you can see there are many processes that are running not running and disabled you also see another status of initializing once a process is starting to run you can also shorten the commands and I like to use sh app stat ice because it's a few keystrokes needed to run that command what we're looking for is when the application server is into the running state we can log in through the web GUI and manage ice and get it ready for configuration you can use the up arrow to cycle through commands just like in any other iOS device and now we see that the application server is running so we put the IP address into our web browser we bypass the certificate check so that we can log into ice and then from there we can configure it do a certificate signing request get a root certificate on here so that we don't get that certificate error on our browser anymore and now we have the dashboard of ice and we are ready to go good job ice is now installed